favourite engines. One sunny morning, Thomas and Toby were delivering new tables and chairs for Mrs Kindly. Mrs Kindly was very happy. Thank you, Thomas and Toby, she said. I am very happy that you two are my favourite engines. Not at all, Mrs Kindly, said Thomas and Toby together. Later that day, Thomas and Toby were resting in the shed. I am very happy that Mrs Kindly said that you and I are her favourites, said Thomas. So am I, agreed Toby. But then he had a thought. Which engine do you think is the Fat Controller's favourite? Well, I'm his favourite, boasted Henry, because he is very proud of me for delivering the flying kipper and hoeing logs in the forest. You, laughed Gordon, for stopping in the tunnel for being afraid of the rain. Well, you won't be his favourite when you fell down a dirty ditch and burst your safety valve, snorted Henry. Will you two be quiet? snapped James. You make me tired. I believe that you two are not his favourite. I'm bound to be his favourite because I'm the brightest red engine on the island. Rubbish, huffed Henry. You can't be his favourite, ramming into the tar whackers and make a hole in your coaches so you have to be fixed with a leather boot laces. This made James very cross. I'll be the Fat Controller's favourite, he huffed. Just you wait and see. And the three engines chuffed away. Oh dear, sighed Toby to Thomas. I have a feeling that they are going to be fighting each other. Yes, indeed, agreed Thomas. They'll get themselves into trouble. And they were right. The next day, Henry was collecting pipes and steel from Brendam Docks. But when he arrived, Cranky was still unloaded. Hurry up, slow crane, wished Henry. I need to be on time. Don't you angels ever learn about patience? barked Cranky. As soon as Cranky loaded the pipes, Henry pulled away and didn't wait for the workmen to tie the pipes down. Henry was racing through the countryside, but he didn't see the signal turn red until the very last moment. He applied his brakes, the pipe slipped and rolled onto the tracks. Oh, bother, Huff Henry. Gordon was racing along the main line. Gordon was determined to be the back controller's favourite as he shot right through Wellswood Station. Then Gordon felt he was going slowly. Somebody had pulled the emergency cable. Gordon came to a stop. Some of the passengers said that the station was their stop. Bother, huffed Gordon. No, I'll never be on time now. Meanwhile, James was collecting coal from the coaling plant. Dirty trucks from dirty siding, he grumbled. But I'm still the Fat Controller's favourite. Soon, James was puffing along the line. The trucks were very cross. We don't like that James bumping us about. So we'll bump him as well. But James didn't hear them until they came to Gordon's Hill. When James came to the top, the trucks began their tricks. On, 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 faster, faster, they giggled and pushed James down the hill, bumping and swaling. Help! cried James. He's 
driver applied the brakes, but it was too late. James ran into the back of Patrick's milk train, and milk went everywhere, and all over James. That evening, Thomas brought James back to the shed. The fat controller was waiting. He was very cross with Gordon, Henry and James. You three have caused confusion and delay. What is the meaning of this whole deal? We were only trying to show which of us is your favourite, answered Gordon quietly. You all wanted to know who's my favourite is, boomed the fat controller. Now listen, everyone on Soldor may have a favourite engine, but as for me, I don't have a favourite. All of you have favourite jobs and places, and you all are favourites, and you all like families to me. As the Fink clergyman once said to me, in a family, you don't have favourites. Now is that clear? Yes sir, agreed the engines. After the fat controller left, Gordon, James and Henry felt very sorry for themselves. Cheer up, said Thomas. At least you all know the fat controller doesn't have one favourite. Yes, Thomas, you are right, agreed James. Sorry about what happened today. That's all right, smiled Gordon. I think we all are really useful. We don't have to fight about nothing, finished Henry. We just have to carry on being really useful. And everyone agreed. <laughs>